In Creo Parametric, several types of measurements can be taken from your models. You can use these measurements to better understand the size and shape of your design. To find out what units a model was created in, and thus what units your measurement results will be displayed in, click File, Prepare, Model Properties. In the Material section of the Model Properties dialog box, we can see that this model uses a unit system of millimeter, kilogram, and seconds. It's important to know what units will be used when evaluating the results of measurements that you'll be taking. The Measure group of the Analysis tab is where you can find a set of commonly used measuring tools. Distance, Length, Angle, Diameter, Radius, Area, and Volume. To measure the diameter of a cylindrical surface, start the Diameter tool and select a cylindrical surface. The diameter of this surface is 14, and the diameter of this hole is 6. Start the Area tool to find the surface area of a selected surface. To measure the length of an edge, start the Length tool and select the edge. The Shift key can be used to select the chain of edges to be measured. Use the Angle tool to measure the angle between two selected surfaces. The Direction Collector enables you to define the direction at which the angle is measured. The Distance tool enables you to measure the distance between selected entities. The Projection Direction Collector enables you to define the direction or plane that the measurement is taken in. The Measure group of Creoparametrics Analysis tab provides you with a robust set of commonly used measurement tools that can be used to evaluate your design. 